to another episode of Tales from the Archive here on Handelabra Games. My name is Zach from Another Letdown Media. I will be your host this evening. Uh, Tales from the Archive is the show where we use the medium of Sentinels of the Multiverse to tell, or the digital game specifically, to tell a story of some kind. Some will be tales from the actual Sentinel storylines and others will be totally original and or based on previous work. For consistency's sake, I do try to match each story up with an existing Sentinel Comics book title that has been mentioned previously by either Christopher or Adam or both, but by no means does that make these real or official canon or anything like that. You can sort of think of this as the Earth-603 Sentinels of the Multiverse. There will often be times where I deliberately make a play that doesn't make a whole lot of sense strategically, or play under some unusual stipulation because it contributes in some way to the narrative we've created. I will do my best to try and win games, but even heroes fall sometimes, and that just makes for fun, interesting, and exciting stories. As with all the shows that I host both here on the Handelabra Games channel as well as the Another Letdown Media channel, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. So, without any more delay, let's go ahead and open ye oldie book of the multiverse and get this party started? I say party with a question mark because, of course, it is the end of the month and indeed the end of the year and indeed the end of the decade, uh, which means it seems like high time we faced Oblivion again, which means the chat gets to decide the uh, environments and the heroes and I get to fail miserably, or at least that's how history has uh, lined up so far. I've yet to win a game of Oblivion, uh, I've yet to... I've, I've come close a couple of times, but most of the time I just get raffle stomped. And then we move on to something else. Um, this is sort of my end of the month. Zach gets to play Sentinels and actually not have to worry about writing a story for a change. Um, obviously, it is a lot of work for me to write a story every single week. And this end of the month thing uh, sort of just lets me relax a little bit and, and enjoy my Sunday morning uh, rather than have six hours worth of work to do. So, chat, if you've got suggestions for heroes, environments, uh, heck, I mean, even shield and scion setups, like, that's all on you, my friends. Welcome to Tales from the Archive. This is the final Oblivion of 2019. I don't, because I don't believe there's actually any other streams before we, before, uh, opening team of Prime Wardens. Ugh. All right. I mean, I'm rubbish with the Prime Wardens, but I'm down with it. Uh, who else is even on the Prime Wardens? This is how much I don't pay attention to this team. Uh, yeah, that's that's a Prime Warden. Uh, he's a Prime Warden. What is it, Captain Cosmic is the other one? Alright, so we got the Prime Wardens. Thank you, Seamus Butler. Uh, environments. Prime Warden's a very utilitarian team. So I don't know what people, uh, I hope everybody had a good holiday or just some, you know, a couple of weeks. Uh, I haven't seen everybody in a couple of weeks because I, wh where was I last week? Oh, that's right. I was watching holiday movies with my best friend and her family and my wife, of course. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, we went, you, you had a weird holiday this year, Brian? Environment to suit you. Oh, that's cool. All right. So, yeah. Oh, I like that, Seamus. That's cool. We got Final Wasteland. Um, Fanatic, I guess. Was that, would that be Court of Blood? Seems a little janky. Uh, we'll move on to Meridian Refuge. That one's easy. Uh, Argent or Prime Warden's Cap Captain Cosmic. Um, I mean, Argent Adept, Nexus of the Void. That makes 100% sense to me. Uh, yeah, Court of Blood. Okay, cool. And then, uh, yeah, Captain Cosmic. So that's a space thing. I mean, Celestial Tribunal, I, I can see that. Um, the Block, I can also see that. Wasteland, Court, Refuge, Nexus, Dock the Wrath. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. All right, I like that. That's a good, uh, flavorful setup. Um, this would be Prime Wardens versus Oblivion. Yeah, so uh, we went to my wife's uh, parents for, for, for Christmas this year, and it was very quiet, very relaxing, very nice. Um, of course, 
per usual, staring down the barrel of school coming back on Thursday. Why we're going back? Like, I don't understand. School Thursday, Friday just seems ridiculous to me. But sorry, I digress. Uh, here's a blue bell. Let's see how, how badly we lose this one. Oh, that's all right, Seamus. No problem, no problem. I've been watching a ton of British TV lately. And, uh, and even Irish TV, to some extent, Seamus, to your interest. I've uh, been watching the IT crowd and uh, Father Ted and some other shenanigans. Uh, okay, so Haka starting out with Haka of Restoration, two Rampages, and a Taeha. Fnatic has Prayer of Desperation, Sacrosanct Martyr, Sanctifying Strike, and Smite the Transgressor. Ooh, I saw Star Wars yesterday. Um, I have opinions about it, but uh, again, no spoilers. I, I can't, in good conscience, voice them. Um, I can say, without spoiling anything, I can say that my friends came down in one of very polarized opinions. Either they loved it or they hated it. And I went into it expecting to fall into one of those two camps. Didn't really care which. Um, oh, you don't want my opinion. Okay, I will. I will. That's that's very fair. Uh, there, there, there. I will give you my expectation. I will not say how I uh, how I felt about it. Nice save, Brian. Um, hey, Team Orchid. Yeah, very fair. Very fair. Uh, team, Prime Orbit Warden's Tempest has Ball Lightning, Chain Lightning, Elemental Subwave Inducer, and Reclaim from the Deep. Uh, Argent Adept has Sadistic Dissonant, Rhapsody of Vigor, Saraband of Destruction, and Vernal Sonata. Captain Cosmic has Cobs <laughs> Cosmic Weapon, Energy Bracer, Sustained Influence, and Vitality Conduit. Uh, I will tell you, I will say, I will venture an opinion about the cinema going experience, however. I was reminded of how, of why I don't often go uh, to the cinema, other than for an Avengers or a Star Wars movie. Um, because I was surrounded by people that I just was like, I don't care about you. And I just miss my, my couch and my projector. And <laughs> we're talking about cats. I certainly hope not, Orchid. I have opinions about that, too. Um, I haven't seen it, but it feels to me like they're trying to pull up producers. Uh, anyway, I just, I don't go to the theater because I have a projector at home. I have food and drink at home that I don't have to pay exorbitant quantities of money for. I have a couch and my cats and blankets. And it's like, this is a comfortable cinema experience. Going out in public, despite the comfortable chairs that they've installed recently, is not. All right, so we've got Arc of Unreality. Uh, okay, so it's swapping zones. And this is progeny. I can pause to use the bathroom. You're absolutely right. And I can adjust the volume. And here's uh, Boar. Okay, countdown's at six. No, five. Air to nothingness. Add one devastation to the inevitable destruction. To Can't read that. Whoa! Um, okay. <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> Sad Argent. Wow. Well, this could be a quick one, folks. Let's bring in someone like, okay, let's go with someone, go from someone that I'm absolutely terrible at to someone I know inside and out. Um, you know, Prime Warden's adjacent. Oh, but nah, I want to save him for damage phase. Oh, I need a utilitarian that I'm good with. Um, and is like, I hate music, crush. We lost lost a very utilitarian character. Um, you know what? I'm gonna bring in Grandpa. This guy's got for more prime wardens. Ah, I brought in Grandpa. So Grandpa is starting with Fortitude, Heroic Interception, Inspiring Presence, and Thok. So that's a pretty gas opening hand for him.
Yeah. Uh, the question is, do I want to move to the second battle zone? Boar has crack back, right? But he doesn't do a whole lot else. Yeah, he doesn't really do anything. I mean, he does, but we'll stay here. Uh, okay, so at the end of this turn, if five cards were destroyed, this card, this turn, well, this card, um, uh, it's not going to hit this turn, but boy, is that good. Her. I mean, Taeha, whoops, Taeha's hitting two. There's some good stuff here. Boar's a snowballer, yeah, exactly. And right now he's rather innocuous. The board just wants to build a snowman. There's not five car five targets to destroy. I'm gonna shuffle it into the deck. Like it's good, but I just don't think it's fast enough. I think there's better options elsewhere. I'll do that for now. Uh, no. That's fine. Uh, at the end of your turn, this card deals the hero target- hero character- Yeah. And Hellion flips over to Seraph. Oh, that's right. I guess I should've done that. Um, well... That's really not the worst, and we can aggro that pretty hard. I'm gonna do it. Uh, here's Martyr. I mean, she's not going to last forever anyway. Um, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have to take on that. Like, that was definitely a consideration. If it was borderline, it would have been a consideration, but, like, it's fine. Smite is really good next... Uh, actually, I'll do that next turn. I'll run out Sac Sacrosanct Martyr. I'm going to just do the max here. I'll just crash into Hellion. Ooh, there's Wrathful. Fine. Nope. Uh, oh! <laughs> well. Yeah, we're taking that on too. Uh, ball lightning... Cuts that down by half. Chain lightning also very, very good. Alright, I have, I have thoughts. Like, that may be risky, but it gets Seraph here. Uh, nope. Don't need to do that. And we're done here. Nice! Okay, Sacrosanct Martyr went away. Fine, whatever. Uh, at the end of your turn, each Wow, it's just all the Prime Warden's cards. Look at this. Hashtag blame John. At the end of your turn, each player may discard and or destroy any number of their equipments or mechanical golems. Uh, the problem is, I don't think we're going to... This team... One... They have one. That's not going to happen. Uh, we do have an incapacitated ability, though. Um... I could allow some card draw. Yeah, you know what? Since uh, Fnatic just lost a good card. Okay, that's excellent. Yeah, that's, that's well, excellent is a relative term. Let's bring out Inspiring. Uh, I need to take a look at, okay, so Storm is at nine. Seraph is really good. Um, this would allow us to hit two things. So it'll blow up the Aeon Thrall and put the... Yeah, that's probably just the right call.
Citizen Storm take four, go to five. Eon Thrall go to zero, go away. Bring up Captain Cosmic. Ooh, nice, another Thok. Nope, that's fine. The second thing is not going to happen at this moment. Uh, what is your power? Start of your turn whenever a construct is destroyed. Shuffle uh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever, I don't care. We need aggression right now. Just a little, like a little bit of aggression, not uh, not the nuts, but okay. Energy bracer is fine. Okay, now we get bad stuff. Chupacabra. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Chupacabra. Thank you, sir. Relentless Hunter. Ow. Which player is considered to have the most rewards in play? Tempest, in this case. Ow, stop it. Alright, Court of Blood, Matron Ertzy. She's probably going to hit. Oh, no, she doesn't. So here's Boar. Scatter Slaughter, the sign of the lowest HP is the hero target of the highest HP. Some damage, whatever, doesn't matter. Although, interestingly, he got a token. Oh, golly. This could be one of those weird ones where we don't even get out of phase one. I do have to swap zones, like, pretty aggressively, but... Oh, hey, it's our turn again. Um... So, Rampage takes out all but one of these, which I can then end with Taeha. That's kind of cool. I can take that. What's this do? Oh, yeah, the Lantern Cod knew it. Oh, that's sick. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Haka may not be the perfect person to do that with, but like, I'm down. Unfortunately, this is three because of Inspiring Presence, but realistically, fine. Go to 50, big ugly thing. Well, it might be a good idea to have one more hero jump to the other field to block Boar from making more dev tokens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's true. I, I can do that. That's that's fine. Especially now that we're going to discard a bunch of stuff. Here's this. And we don't need another Rampage right away. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's also fine. That's also fine. Okay, there we go. Atlantean Conduit is here. Now I'm going to run out. Uh, do I run out Dominion? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, letting Fnatic tank the other zone. Like, ow, but it's turning on Rethel Retribution. Which is pretty rad. Uh, oh, that's not helpful, but that's so good. <laughs> it's the Power Rangers. No, we gotta shuffle that away, unfortunately. Um, I'm really tempted to double draw here. Actually, what I'm going to do. Just turn on Wrathful Retribution. Okay, there's Absolution. That's awesome. Here's Seraph. Um, he's going to gain hit or gain tokens from that. Yeah, that's fine. You can take one there. And you can take two here. We're good here. Um, this is a storm. Don't 
Regardless of what the battle zone you're in, if he's ever dealt 12 or more damage in one turn, flip this card. That's a great card, but, uh... Boy. That's a tough one to get. I'm gonna take it. But I don't think it's happening anytime soon. Here, hit Progeny for six. Cool. Progeny for four. Go to 40. Uh, nope, that's fine. Uh, e each hero may deal themselves two psychic damage whenever a hero... Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. Brother Sacrifice. It's so good. Getting the shard at some point is always good. Yeah, that's why I grabbed it. I was like, eh, that's, that's not nothing. Yeah, I can, I can grab that. We'll just look at what we're at and, and make, make decisions accordingly. There you go, take five. Um, hmm. Well, okay, he's got cosmic weapons, so that's not nothing. Oh, shoot. That was foolish. My bad. Meant to click on that one. It's so funny how how. Oh boy. Yeah, like right there, that was fine. No. Uh, that's demand of the gods again. There's not five cards to destroy. I mean, what I need is construct cataclysm. That's not happening. Then Tempest. Yeah, I mean, it's not for nothing. Like, he can do it. But again, like... We gotta bring the shield down first. And that requires bouncing zones a bunch. Five times specifically. I still don't think that's gonna be grabbable yet. Energy Bracer. Vitcon. Do sustain influence. Oh, shoot. That was. Well. Actually, that's not the worst. Except with sustain inf No, that's foolish, because with sustain influence. It's coming back anyway. Influence is actually just better here. Autonomous Blade is pretty good. Khan's Bunker. Oh, hi, Progeny. A race from time. Sign with the lowest hit points. Steal some damage. Then, if the hero is not incapacitated, some stuff happens. Each player discards a card. Okay, fine. Uh, Punch the weak is not help. Not happening here. Unfortunately, that that's that one's a bummer. Fortitude, we only need one of. Energy bracer, we've got an extra. Fine. Ow. Yeah. Give me that back. Please and thank you. Again, ow. Ah. Angry mob! Well, of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Okay. Focus of power. Yeah, this, this is counting down very, very fast. All right. Uh, hmm. Focus of power. I mean, we have ways of getting rid of that. Each player may discard any number of cards, and then shuffle any number of hero trash. Sure. Well, this is a uh, chronoist, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. 
Uh, I'm gonna try something here. Oh, uh, oh wait, no, no, this works. Kicks me on vassals in the teeth. Nice. And then we can do this. I mean, Tomoko is fine. But I can also Hawk have Restoration and bring back... Uh, oh, actually, Ground Pound might have been... Oh, that's, uh, that's super good, but it's fine. Tempest can have that. Like, I should have enough. I'll go back and fix this if I don't, but... There we go. Chronomist is here. I'll play Tomoko. One other player may each play a card. Nice. I'll go with Fortitude. Get the DR going. Nope. End of your turn, reveal the top card of your deck. You may discard a card to put the revealed card into play. Otherwise, discard the revealed card. Other way, either way, if you discarded an equipment card, flip this card. Uh, sure. It's fine. Um, here's Absolution. That'll heal me up just a little bit. Kronos is possibly my favorite reward card. He's really, really good. I like him a lot. I don't have any equipments, unfortunately. I'm just gonna discard divine focus. Um What's that one? That's not helpful. I need to just double draw here. Terrorbird is really good too, but we're just double drawing. Get some cards going. That's nice, actually. I don't know if I can hit that. I can't. Oh, I'm in the wrong zone. Gosh darn it. I shouldn't have moved. Hold on. I'm going to try, try this again here. No. 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 There we go. Bye bye, focus. Uh, I'll move Captain Cosmic into the other zone. Oh. Oh, this is so good for him, though. Oh, this is the perfect card for Legacy. I've already got troops four tokens on true hero in the end though I'm just gonna trigger this at the end of the turn man I can go back on this what, what am I doing here Yeah, okay, so that's not how that worked. All right, unfortunately. I gotta do it. Like, Orchestrate the Void is just so good with, for, for, for Legacy. Like, you can just do that. Not with the hand he's got, but.
Oh, this is lucky strike, lucky break. Expect a card in your hand, shuffle your deck in your hand. Yeah, okay, that's fine. He could use an objective anyway. Um, here's auto blade. He's the most reliable right now. So here comes the auto blade and the cosmic weapon. Clean in the mess here. There's harsh offense. Okay, cool. Vitcon. Dang it. That's disappointing. I don't really care about that. Especially since that happens. Mongolian Death Worm. It's a worm of death. Death. Well. That's disappointing. mob. They try to hit Oblivion and can't. Who better than the Death Worm? Elemental Okay. Well, so much for Wrathful Retribution. Um, boy. We get, we're getting hosed here. Uh, I really need to start void hopping. Um, Suggestions chat? Who are we replacing Fnatic with? <sighs> Excuse me. Idealist? Okay. Oh, that's true. oh, we got Void Guard, the Idealist. I don't like that. Just call her what she is. Um, do I have anybody in the second? No, she's got to stay there. Yep, countdown at one. Hmm. Sorry, bizarre emails. Oh, this is going to hurt. Uh, if I do that, I can move her out. That said... There are targets here. Fine, whatever. Go away. Rampage is back. Um, Dominion's here again. It's actually not the worst. Um, okay, I can do this, increases her damage output, uh, but is this really what I want to do though? Just build him up. 
Here's Dominion. Idealist can play a card. Born now. Do Tiara. Next turn is gonna suck, yeah. Yep, that's fine. Better punching. She can get through that. Oh, great. Look at that. Look what happened. There's Cursor. Sure. Just, I'm just trying to tick up the thing. Man. Apex of humanity, though. No. It's fine. I'll just orchestrate a different way to do it. Yeah, that was weird. I want to see what happens, you know, moving forward. Yep, that worked. Okay, sweet. You play a card, use a power, or draw a card. This could be bad. <laughs> yep, here we go. Crack a thum goes off. Ow. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Imperion. Well, I was just sick of looking at Boar. That was probably a giant mistake, and I just don't care. Forgot that's how that works. Um, Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to replace them with base models of the same characters. For funsies. Not legacy, but... Haka and Tempest are going to stick around. Uh, nope. Hey. Uh, in terms of where legacy is going to get replaced by... Let's go with complete opposite. I'm just trying to bring down the shield at this point. Oh, there's a lot more than two. Oh, shoot. I should have kept him there. 
Um, destroy an environment card, whatever would be destroyed, and they discard two cards to, to prevent that destruction. I gotta make it play three environment cards. It's fine. And power up her little gauntlet arm thingy. Black. Hey, look at that. We can deal damage to Oblivion. We have damaged Oblivion. Of course, now we're hell bent. Yep. Skunk Ape. Probably gonna lose an environment here. In fact, I think we just do because 15. Right. And I think she's not long for this world. She got rid of Monster of Id though, the wrong way. That's not how that's supposed to work. Oh, golly. Ow. Uh, discard or destroy a card. That's easy. Here's Oblivion, and boom goes the dynamite. Uh, let's replace it with Meridian Refuge. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, Captain Cosmic's doomed. Imperion does a thing. Oh, God, so is Tempest. This is really bad. Ugh. And we're about to destroy another environment. Wow, it's T TPK. I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, boy. Yep, that's another environment gone. And another, more damage to everybody. I think we just lose here. I think we're just dead here. Um, all right, well, I guess we need to go ham now. Kind of, I guess. I'm not really sure even where we are because we're going to lose another one here. Yeah, next phase, which puts us into the last one. Idealist is still alive somehow, because why not? Um, so we need damage without setup. So I guess that's raw. If we get lucky with Wraith, we can do it. Nope. Uh, we'll bring in Young Legacy. She's got damage without setup. I don't know if this is going to work in our favor here, but, uh, no. Who else is damaging that setup? Uh, we've already used Vanilla Tempest. Knife, I guess? Vanilla Fanatic does. It's not much, but she can do some. Uh... I guess, I, like, I could bring Wraith in. Oh, Skyscraper. Let's bring her in. See if she, see if she can put some, put some damage on the board. Here. Nope. Uh... 
I'll bring in Wraith. Why the heck not? Oh, Parse. Yeah, that would have made some amount of sense, Seamus. You're right. Oh, well. It's done now. Not gonna, not gonna back that up. Ooh. No. So much gas in this hand. I gotta do it. This is not gonna be the gassy enough finish. We don't have nearly the... I'll try it. Seraph coming to the party. Um, that's villain cards, though. gonna help much there's inspiring presence where were you a turn ago or you know one in on opening draw and what I really need is can't uh, can't do damage and of course I don't have draw a card play a card gain a hit point Use power, draw a card, top deck. I think hers is still more powerful. Still with the I beams. That's not helpful. Golly. Two cards. There we go. Left hook. If she survives, she's going big. Nope. Wait. wait. Hold on. I gotta go back and look, look at my options a better better here. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Does this work? Now you can't deal damage? Hey, and there's impromptu invention. Snow dude. Rend minds and souls. Like we can still take damage, but not maybe from a blow down? Ow. Uh, what's it what is she doing? Reveal the top three cards of one hero deck, discard any non ongo non ongoing revealed cards. This card deals. Ongoing. I guess Raw has a bunch of ongoings. Sure. Well, nope. that's not the worst, I guess. Yep, we knew that was coming. 
But Throat Jab does its job! And here's, um, what's her face? Who I can't, whose name I can't remember. Sanction. Oh boy. Unfortunately. Do I have a way to play a card? Yes, I do. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to last long enough for this to, to do what I wanted to do, so... Boo! Hmm. I'll keep blasting him in the face. He makes me angry. So I blast him in the face. What does he do? Oh yeah. I don't think this is gonna work. But... We'll let him do eight. Uh, should have no. Oh, that was foolish. I could have done more. I don't think it's gonna matter. All right, let's go get Atomic Karate. Atomic Karate. More Atomic Karate! No. Uh, do this. Draw card, destroy ongoing. Oh. He's doing energy damage? Yes. Heroes are immune to energy damage. Let's see if that does work. We'll pop Skyscraper over into the other zone to avoid more tokens being shenaniganized. We'll see how that worked. I, who knows? Uh, okay. Gotta get rid of her eventually. Um, that's okay. Concussive clap. Let's do it. No. Cursor Alive seems like a really good plan right now. Here's Invention. I just drew a utility belt, right? Yep, good. So micro-targeting computer in play. U-belt. Plink. Stealth. Good. 
Wraith casually strangling a blue on for the win. Well, now it's Legacy. Doing similarly. Oh, well, that's disappointing. The apes are fighting. Infighting amongst the apes. Oh. He's doing everything he can to eliminate environment targets. Ugh. I only got a couple more turns here before the inevitable happens. Okay. Okay, we can't we can't take energy damage, so how many targets are in play? Environment cards in play. One. There's no point. Fine. Idealist is gonna do work again. Yeah, we, we can't take energy damage. You jerk. Your jerks can. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, well, okay. I thought we were immune to that. Oh, man. Good gravy. Uh, he's where? Second? No. Oh, it's a landing conduit. I didn't actually need that. <sighs> actually. Hold on. If I play it... I might actually... This might actually work. Oh, let's draw a card and use a power. That's not actually what I wanted to do at all. I took psychic damage. Oh, well, that'll do it. Uh, no. Use in cap. One of these is play a card. It's this one. Allowing Raw to do this. Do that, then flame spike for that, then do this, right, then do this, oh there's summon staff. play all the cards. Um, let's have a big turn here. Wraith. I guess. Yeah, we'll do this and then we'll do that. Stabby knives. Move under atomic karate. Veggie hogs. Go back under atomic karate. Now if she can live one more turn. There we go. Now we're Apex of Humanity. Um, no. I did this, and it was... I mean, energy damage worked pretty well, but I don't think... Yeah, let's see. Wish I could do it twice. 
The psychic damage is also a problem, as we've proved. Get that out. Go below 100. I mean, once again, we're fighting for that moral victory of putting him to phase three. I do not think that it's going to happen. Uh, sure. Yeah? No. Well, I'm going to try it. Man. So all the normal one-shots are terrible. No. Oh. All right, fine. No. Is there more hero targets in this battle? Sure. I don't think it's going to happen, but we're going to try it. Here's Combat Stance, because why not? Then you have it. That's one heck of a stun bolt. El mejor del legado. He's here. He's here. Well, that's disappointing. I was really hoping that he would stick around. Ugh. All right, Progeny's flipped back over. I guess that's good. Or Aeon Master shows up. That was a thing. Oh dear. Oh boy. Alright, well, we got out of that. Imbued fire! Okay! Let's go! Uh. Ideal is still alive. Yeah, exactly. Why do I care? I decided I don't. We'll see if this we'll see if we survive here. Uh oh. Don't die. Don't die. Yep, skyscraper can discard all of the cards all the day. Countdown's at one, though. Oh, boy. I think we may be just dead here. Uh... I don't want to watch. Yep. Oh, we are just dead here. Ooh, that's bad. So, we'll go out swinging. We're going to go out in a blaze of glory. Uh, do you want to move to the f No. Oh, yeah, yes, I do. Good gosh. You moved. Yes. Uh. Play extra cards. We'll do. Staff. Into imbued fire. Then we go bananas. Well, it's not that bananas. Just kind of bananas. Uh, yep. We're gonna unleash the power of the karate robot.
Yep. Hedgy Hogs, do your thing. Blow up Progeny while you're at it. That's not helpful, but fine. All right. Blow up the Karate Robot. Let's do it. It's only nine, but you know, fine. Whatever. She's still up! Here comes Seraph. Swinging for the fences, as he does. Um. I gotta see if I can. Yep. I still think it's idealist. I think it's Karate Robot again. Yep, it sure is. Just keep powering it right back up. We got him to 38 in this zone. We're gonna try for it. Here's Flying Smash. Just a little more. Oh baby, right? We shall see, we shall see. Keep going. Hit him harder. Uh, yes. Bring her in. Use an in cap. Someone let me use a power. Yes, I can. Let me see if there's... Play a card. Um, back fist strike is a consideration, but I still think it's t the 10 from Karate Robot is just better. Yep, let's do that. Oh, whoops. Nope, hold on. I, I triggered the wrong one. Yeah, I want to move the first battle zone. I want to use an in-cap. I want to find one that allows me to use a power. There we go. Idealist. Karate Robot. Do this. And then that. Load up Karate Robot. Uh, here's a link. I mean, fine. We'll link him up. Alright, Wraith. Can you do nine damage? before, you know, everybody dies. Because Skyscraper's being a little bit hyper-aggressive here. Uh, yep. Uh, no. Let's see what else she's got for options here. She doesn't have much. Yes. I should take on the objective. Why not? Run out out for poops and giggles. Go to three. Get dead. Flipped into the into the final zone. 
Unfortunately, I don't think we can le leverage 120 damage to him before his turn. Unfortunately. It's sad, but it's just the world we live in. Yeah. And I maintain my record of never having won against Oblivion, and likely never will. Oh look, Monster of Id! And we go through the motions. I mean, there's something about doing it myself, you know? I don't want Dolphin to have to do it for me. Because that's what invariably happens when Dolphin and I stream together, is like, I make up a story and he invariably just plays better than I do. I figure we play long enough. Eventually, we'll win one. But like, like I said, I'm like I'm going I'm going to do this every month. I also play incredibly loose. Like I just kind of do things and see what happens. I find it's much easier to learn that way if I teach myself partially what not to do. And the more, like, the more I play it, the more I start to remember cards. And the multiverse has been destroyed. So we expected that, but fine. So, you know. It is what it is. We also got really trashed on in the opening hand. Like, the Prime Wardens are, are strong together. They're very strong together. But I still can't wrap my head around the way they operate. And part of that is I just don't care about that particular team from a story perspective. Sorry, Christopher and Adam. I don't. They're just not for me. It's like magic-y stuff is uninteresting to me. Uh, matter of fact, for B game here, let's just bring in my favorite team. Oops. Nope, not him. Her. Uh, who aren't really even a team at all. Um, uh, here's a fun one. You want me to bring in Harpy too? I can bring in Harpy too. There we go. Yeah, I am... I am very much... Like, okay. Eldritch magic? Fine. Love Eldritch magic. It's off camera and up behind my light. But I've got a... Like, my Arkham Horror kit is my pride and joy. I love that. Uh, you know, the vast majority of my board game collection is Arkham Horror adjacent. Um, so, like, yeah. Eldritch magic? Totally fine with that. It's what I consider street magic. Uh, you know, same thing with Harpy. But uh, I like this art better. Uh, yeah, that's better. Um, uh, I like that one better. Yeah, I like this, this art better. Expat. No, this one's definitely better. Um, no, I just like... Yeah, I'm a street-level guy. 
uh, I don't know how well you guys can see behind me. You probably can't see very well, but um, the entire wall behind me is decorated with Batman art. Like, and I've got Daredevil art up here. That's that's what that's my jam. So, the Prime Warden's just not my thing. So here's Dark Watch versus Kismet. All of Dark Watch, my dad. Dark Watch expatriate. Ha, whoa, ha, ha, come on, hey! Uh, reload shock rounds and two tactical shotguns. Not that she needs more than one. Uh, Night Mist has Call Forth, Oblivion, Scouring Mist, and Tome of Elder Magic. Dark uh, Mister Fixer has alternating Tiger Claw, Charge, and Salvage Yard, and Tire Iron. Setback has exceeded expectations. Friendly Fire, Fumbling Fool, Turn of Events, and Harpy has Applied Numerology, Arcane Explosion, Eldritch Training, and Harpy Hex. Incidentally, how cool is her hair? Like, for real. I'm talisman. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, she's gonna do some stuff. Um... Plays a card. Who can get away without playing cards? Yeah, I'll do set back for now. He's good at taking hexes on the, on the nose here. Good lord. Alright, attack shot. She can't have- No, I'm not gonna tell her that. God, no. You wanna tell her that? that? Sounds like a terrible idea. She can have him all she wants. Um, that's super good. But we're gonna just- Get this party started. Robin Sparkles number two. This rig. Um, Elder Ring is really good. Followed by Heedless Lash. Let's do this. Let's do that. We knew we were going to draw that. Perfect. Iron. Oh. That'll blow up Talisman. But it doesn't destroy it, so I don't know how that works, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna run it out. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just kills. Okay. Right, Bitter Strike is more than one point of damage. Yep, I remember now. Actually, since she's got another one. Hey, Overdrive. Um, no tokens in his pool yet. Fumbling Fool actually seems like a pretty good start here. Just get some tokens going. Drop some damage down. Alright, Harpy. What do you got? Ow. First time a hero would be dealt damage, and I don't care. Ugh. I don't want to do that just yet. Go oh, Harpy Hex. Start getting set up here. I think it's our uh, Eldritch. Yeah. That sets us up for an explosion next turn. If everything holds. So we mentioned at the top of the stream we were talking about Star Wars. I recently picked up uh, Episode One Racer. Boy, was that boy was that a fun game. It's like the only good thing to come out of Episode One, in my opinion. Like, it's, I find that it's just the right amount of difficulty. I think some of you were watching my stream the other day when I was playing it. Um, 
Oh, whoops, that was a mistake. Oh well. Oh, amulet. Perfect. Yeah, I can discard two cards. That's fine. I was playing uh, Rebel Assault 2. That game is super fun too. Very hard. Love it, but very difficult. I don't know if we have a thing to blow up here. There we go. There you go, take that. That's fine. Oh, whoops, no. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Read the cards. Read the dang cards. All I want to do is remove one so I can hit her. Expatriate could theoretically use two shotguns, but then she'd need the fancy flip reload ones like for MT2. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's going to make me sneeze. Oh, I hate dry air. I hate dry air! Well, Talisman's going back to her. Fine. Whatever. Whoa! We get to play a card, so I should know what these do. <sighs> Twisting back out. Oh, cool. I mean, ow, but fine. You done? Yeah, you done. Uh, I could go Pride or Prejudice. I could do... Yeah, let's do that. These guys really like having damage boosts, and they don't get it from each other, which is kind of funny. Uh, oh, Mist Form is really good. Ugh. couple of equipments in, in and around right now. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Do that. Oh, it's infernal damage. I like infernal damage. Bye bye, amulet. Grease gun. Ah, uh, that's not gonna happen. Run that out, I guess. Alright, Harpy, do some work here. Seems fine. Yeah. Let's go get Hugan and Munnin. Do I see Darkwatch helping Pete out or with his axe troubles? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Ooh. 
Ooh, excuse me. Uh, okay. I need to think here. Flip two purple, two two Jeremy or two Johns. Draw two. Discard as many cards as there are. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. I think I'm doing this right. Bin cards. Like, it's annoying, but at least... Okay, she's at 30. For this one, she wants... All green? No, she wants all purple. Ah, fine. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> they call it diplomacy. Yeah. I mean, setbacks hurting, but fine. We're all hurting, but fine. How? This this could be a rough one, folks. I mean, we planned it this way, but. Sorry, birds. Um, so auto rifle is fine. Alternately, shock rounds. No, <laughs> oh, excuse me. He is, and yet somehow <laughs> Harpy's the one doing all the work here. Nitro rounds. Uh, all right, she's going misty. Drawing cards to see if she can get out of this. Actually, no, she's not. She's giving Mr. Fixer something to blow up. That's a weird thing to blow up, but I do, yeah. She doesn't have another gun, though. Sorry, Night Mist. You don't get to keep that. Yes, it does. That's why I'm... I'm trying to play around it. I'm trying. Unfortunately, that's not good. Yet. Got ideas. Uh, uh, oh, hold on. At least ten hit points, three toxic damage. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. That's only gonna hit two of us. Fine. Oh, this is gonna be bad. That may have been a mistake. Sorry, setback. 
Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Harpy. Oh boy, we just lost our two big aggro. Let's see if we can get eight damage through. That's fine. I think Fixer can hopefully do it. Turn the page! Turn the page! Yeah, I'm going to try. Oh boy, nope, that's not good. Oh boy. I think we just lost here. I don't know if I can get through eight. Uh, I need to get rid of shaky arm. This is going to be really tight. Nope, stop. Four damage. I can't do that. Fine, whatever, I don't care. I needed Fixer to stay alive there and that didn't happen. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we got this. Hold on. I think. Oh, please work. Don't crack back. Don't crack back. No crack backs. Take her out. Take her out. Get there. Back. No, oh, no. Why, Dr. Tramata? Why? Uh... We have a chance. We've, we got a chance. Got there! Got there! Ooh, that was tight. Oh. Thank God for end caps. Ooh. God, I love Dark Watch. Expatriate wins by hitting her with the butt of her gun. Oi, yay. I love it. I love it. Um, can I do this? Hold on. This is one we use it on my shell. I'll try to do it again. Um, maybe. Learning and growing. That's that's what Dark Watch is doing right now. All right, let's do another one. Let's have some more fun here. Uh, Great Warlord Voss is fun. We'll keep with the theme of hero teams here. Um, Christopher suggested the Paradigms last time. That was kind of fun, but meh. Uh, Here's a hero team. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking, Seamus. Exactly what I was thinking. The Void Guard. 
Uh, outer space, right? That's kind of their thing. I wanted to do Celestial Tribunal earlier today. Uh, and Space Threat. Deadline's an option. He's actually kind of fun, too. Add Lifeline for funsy. Well, I was going to fight Deadline, so that doesn't make any... Well, I mean, that guy's... Sure. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. They brought back... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that story altogether. Does that mean I have to do Kargra? I don't want to do Kargra. Kargra's not fun. I mean, she is. She's actually super fun. But she's also not fun at all. I, I, Kargra's one of those weird ones that I like better on tabletop. Because I feel like I have more control over what's going on. Oh, Capitan. No. I know I haven't done her in a while. I don't know, I just, like, again. What's the lifeline deadline dial nemesis dialogue? Well, let's find out. Let's find, they're not nemesis, but they're like, yeah. Let's find out. Now even Yansa attempts to stop me using deceit. I will not be so easily swayed. This is for the greater good. The greater good, yes. I cannot undo my actions. Instead, I fight to atone for them. Oh, that's actually kind of boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Karger is really fun. Like, but I, I just feel like I have more control over what's going on when I play on tabletop. We did it at the store a couple weeks ago, and it was great. Like, we had an absolute ball of a time. But, yeah, it's just, you know. All right. Lifeline has Alien Arcana, Haro, Unleash Energy, Unnatural Upheaval. Dr. Medico has Doctor's Orders flare up from the brink and triage. Voidguard Idealist has better punching, bright idea, sound beating, and spark of inspiration. Mainstay has dropped the hammer, Durasteel studded vest, lonesome highway, and sweet Rhonda. And my boy Writhe has fight and fade, lurking shadows, penultimate penumbra, and unnerving target. Atomic Enclave. The Ataxia Sphere. And a bad thing. Well, there's no draft to shuffle into the deck, so fine. I'll just shuffle the deck. For funsies! Englave, Englave is a nuisance. But, like, I feel like we can just leverage more damage into his dome. I do like that, but we don't have any other ongoings right now. That's actually the end. The second effect is pretty good, though. Oh, Harrow's actually not bad at all. We can follow that up with Unleash Energy next turn. Destroy ongoings. Just keep them on this side. Yeah. All right. Let's start with Harrow. One against yourself, one against the sword, or the spiky poleaxe thing. Right. Just don't, just, just don't draw the Shadow Cloak. That's all. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, like, I kind of, I mean, so... Uh, I don't know if you were around when we did Omnom Nomni Cannon uh, on Cautionary Tales from the Ill-Advised, uh, which is mine and Dolphin's crossover show that happens once a year. Uh, that was my first experience with Lifeline, um, quite honestly. And boy, we had no idea what we were doing. Like, Dolphin tried really, really hard to like figure that character out before we went for it. And meanwhile, I was trying to figure out like the guy's shenanigans we were trying to pull off. That's why it took seven hours. And don't stream for seven hours. It's not... Or like when, when it's just... Yeah. Don't stream one game for seven hours. I 
do like Doctor's Orders, but I'm going to start with Flare Up. I'm just continue leveraging damage. Let's make sure we're keeping Writhe alive here. Better Punching is a good option. But not yet. I'm going to do Sound Beating. Get some stuff in the bin here. Okay, conceptualize is perfect. That's an awesome gas draw. Oh yeah, no, we definitely did. We definitely spent at least two hours just mon monkeying about. Well, he's not, so that's, I mean, fine, but... Let's bring out the bike. Beat him down. Back, back, Void Belter, and bad to the bone. All right. Um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, unnerving target. It's got to be. Let's go get the cloak. Start yo-yoing that bad mamma jamma. Does anybody say that anymore? Bad Larry. What my brother says. This happened. Skimaki. Oh, that's so good. Bin that. Okay, another catastrophe. Actually, that's. Oh, perfect. Has to take damage to hit back. No, no. Don't. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're right. Whoops. Was that? That was the deadline, I believe. There we go. You're right. No problem. All right. Uh, I said I was going to do Unleash Energy next. conceptualize. Let's go get Atomic Karate. We'll start building up. Right. We wanted to do this. Under there. Perfect. Stabby knives. Great. Here's Belter. Sure, just blow it up immediately. Seems great. All right, Skimaki. Yeah, it's fine. Fight and fade. It's fine. Whatever. I 
Penumbra. Whatever. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. One target, one day. I mean, that's fine, but... Yeah, he's, he's alright right now, so... Do this. Hit him for a bunch. Cool. That's pretty good. Paragon of Sentience. Okay, fine. Main say you can have that. Called to judgment. Alright, well, representative of Earth. Uh well. Riddle Captain Cosmic. Yeah, that makes sense. That's this one, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Board now. There's the focusing tiara. We wanted that. Alright, well, we got two. There's three. Oh boy. Alright, well, he's, on, he's only at eight. Uh, let's see if I can get a blow up the environment here. Alien Arcana is fine. Gotta watch uh, Captain Cosmic here. It's a lot of a lot of uh, random damage flying around. Okay. Take that. Cap. Go ahead and heal up. I'm actually going to do this. The team is kind of taking care of itself. If I do... Oh. That karate robot went away. Well, that's interesting. We get another one. All right, uh, bad to the bone. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get some George Thorogood up in here. Lonesome George and the Delaware Destroyers. I think I listen too much to my dad's music. I'm not complaining. I like my dad's music. Uh, yeah. Take that. Head. Uh, 
There you go, take that. Just messing with the cloak. Do that thing, right? Ugh. I don't know how I got a bug bite in the middle of winter, but you know. Hi. Okay, Captain Cosmic is not uh, faring too well here. Cap will be safe in a minute. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Oh. Okay. Put him on trial. has benefit when it blows up. Okay, he's finally flipping over. Okay, cool. All the excess plays. Stop doing foolish things. Everything takes four. We got it. Deadline is being thorough in his breaking of the ship, yeah. He's just like, I don't like this place. I'm done with it. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. I got the hiccup something awful. Nope, it's going to be mainstay. Prognosis. There we go. The mainstay continues to gain health. Uh, yep. Better punching. Four. Okay, bright idea, fine. Go on to the atomic karate. You too, knives. Um, he's at ten. Just looking for a little bit of extra damage here. 
That's not it. That's defense. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah. Worm. Arrogant worms. We're at six. He's at six. Um... Sure. Seems fine. Hit you for three. Hit you for three. Go get the cloak. It's probably in the bin. Yeah, it is. Alright, well. Go another round. I don't really care. Yep. Ah. Oh my golly. Alright. Well, take another pounding here. Uh, here you go. Deadline. Or lifeline, rather. Uh, do I still have the crack back? Yeah, I do. I will take it on the nose. No. Infernal Detonator. Nordian Sulfa Sulfax. Dead you. And there it is. That's how we do. That's how we do. Well, some fun games tonight. Good, uh, a good match against Oblivion. Still, uh, still the end. Still, still didn't make it, but that's all right. Um, you know, a great, great game showing off the uh, chaos that is the Dark Watch, and of course, uh, some some good old-fashioned space fighting with the Void Guard. I hope everybody had a good evening and enjoyed the show. Um, if you liked what you saw, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Um, share our so channel and social media and in person. Um, you can follow Handelabra on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as Handelabra Games here on Twitch. If you want to see some more content from me, including the Adjacent Hex podcast and the occasional sketch comedy video, facebook.com forward slash another letdown is the place to be for that. If you have story submissions for me to tackle or just want to say hi, hit me up on Twitter. My name is at D-E-N-O-N-C-Z-D. I also do live streams of other video games on my own team's Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv forward slash another letdown. Uh, we do Zack Sucks at Games and Zack and Alex Gear Up, broadcasting on alternating Thursday nights at 6 and 6.30 respectively. You can also catch me frequently on the Ryugami-san channel, playing Destiny 2 with some friends on uh, other weeknights, usually Mondays. Um, and yeah... Uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, and PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam, and as always in good old-fashioned cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. I hope everybody has a wonderful week, a happy new year, and uh, if you're around on Thursday, I think it's a gear up week, but if not, uh, I was gifted a whole bunch of new games um, from various people who watch the stream. Uh, for Christmas, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff, new stuff to play on Zach Sucks at Games as well. So I hope everybody has a wonderful evening, and I will talk to you hopefully Thursday night. If not, I'll see you next Sunday. Have a good one. Bye.